Welcome back to my tips and tricks series, um, trying to help you navigate and get the best out of using Skype. Um, in this little tutorial, I'm going to show you how to test some of your settings, such as your audio and video. Uh, one of the most frustrating things when you use any sort of video conferencing video chat services you log in you call the people they connect all of a sudden you can't hear them they can't hear you or you can't see them or they can't see you and it turns into just a lot of frustration so this is just a little tutorial on how you can at any time test your audio um, settings out because when you think about it, you could get away with not having the video. Um, but if you don't have the audio, it really does make it a mess. And all, all you can basically do is text chat. And um, so let's have a look. Now, when you again create your um, Skype account and you first log in, before you have any other contacts in your Skype account, you will have one called Echo Sound Test Service, and it's automatically added by Skype, so you don't have to do anything about that. And you might say, well, what's that when it's at home? Basically, what it is, is it, it's an automated test service that allows you to ring them. It then will record, it has a recorded robotic voice, which will know a female's voice which will say something back at you saying that you've called the test center and please wait and make and say a message that tells you that if you can hear it that your headset the cans on your headset are working that you can hear um, a Skype call it will then ask you to record a Skype call uh, so by just talking for several seconds it records and then plays it back if you hear the correct playback, you know that your microphone's working because the Skype test center has been able to pick up your audio. So you can you can test that at any time. And you know, if you haven't used Skype for a while or maybe you've done some Windows updates and things like that, it's always handy just to double check because you know things can screw up even if you used Skype last week. And there's nothing more frustrating than getting in a, into a call and everybody's, you know, can't hear and it becomes a real mess. So I'll attempt to call the test centre just so you can see it. And hopefully the audio from the test centre will appear in this video too um, so that you can actually see what's going on. So it's not a video service, so it won't test your video out. I'll show you shortly how to check your video it will just check your audio so here we go hello welcome to skype core testing service after the beep please record a message afterwards your message will be played back to you hello this is daryl hunt testing my audio setup for my youtube tips and tricks video Hello, this is Daryl Hunt testing my audio setup for my YouTube tips and tricks video. If you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured Skype correctly. If you hear this message, but not your own voice, then something is wrong with your audio. So we can just exit out of that now. But hopefully, and I won't know until I actually finish the video, hopefully you heard the Skype call test center. And that's a great way of testing your audio out. If, if you can hear them when they first talk, and then after you've spoken, you hear yourself back, you know that both your headset, um, cans on your headset, and your wraparound microphone, or your standalone microphone, however you set it up, is working correctly so that you can be confident when you make that Skype call and at least if something goes wrong you can point the finger at the other person and say well maybe it's at your end that you can't hear me. Now 
If you want to have a look at your video setup, um, you could see that that Skype uh, testing service didn't allow us to use video. But we can also have another look at video and at audio again through the tools menu. We go to tools and we click options. Now, the options menu, there's lots of stuff and, and hopefully throughout another set of videos, I'll, def, I'll be going through some of the options here um, so that you can see what they all do. But just for this one, we're going to be looking at a couple of settings. Now, you'll see the video setting. And if you click on the video setting, yep, up I pop. What's happened is I'm using a desktop computer here. Skype has picked up my Logitech HD Pro webcam. You can see up here C920. So when you look at that, if the webcam appears, if your image appears and you can see yourself on there, then you know you, that at least Skype is talking to your webcam software. If you need to check your webcam drivers, um, that is, you know, in my case, my Logitech drivers, if I click on webcam settings, it will pop up my Logitech uh, HD Pro drivers. So I can check, this is the default sort of settings for my Logitech webcam. So I can always check those out. If you find that you don't uh, have anything and Skype's telling you it's not seeing your camera, um, you know, a simple trouble, troubleshooting thing is to, if it's uh, a camera like of like mine on a desktop that's connected via USB, just always check that USB is plugged in snugly into your computer. It hasn't worked itself loose. And the other option would be to check that no other software is running in the background on your computer and using the camera. So you haven't got any other web conferencing software. You haven't got, say, Yahoo Messenger open or something else open that may be grabbing the webcam drivers and denying Skype access to the drivers. Um, if all else fails and you're really scratching your head, um, a trip to the Skype forums might be in order so that you can um, post into the forums and say, look, I've got this XXX um, video camera. I'm using this version of Skype. Um, I'm using it on Windows. And this is what's happening when I try to run it. And hopefully someone there may be able to give you some technical support um, about what's going on. If you've got a brand new camera, it could be that Skype um, is having trouble uh, connecting to it and it might be, he might have to wait until Skype do an upgrade. But in the past, I've found uh, often that Skype work, the video works very well. I've had not had too many uh, occurrences where it's not picked up a, a video camera. And when it hasn't, it's generally because the USB cable has worked loose. So once you've tested that and you can see the video, if we go to audio settings, you will see here, and you can see even I'm, I'm doing this video, that Skype is picking up my um, voice through the microphone. And you've got your microphone and you've got your speakers. Now, in a lot of cases when you're making a Skype call, um, you might, you will probably have a, one of those wraparound headsets. So your microphone and your speakers will be the same, will be pointing to the same device. It might be, say, a Logitech headset or something like that. Mine's slightly different. I've got a Yeti Blue microphone and I've got a headset plugged into the microphone. So that's why both of these are identical. Now, you know, what you can do here to test your speaker is press this and it will ring now that's that's um important you can you know if you if you hear that then of course again you know that whether it's speakers on the desktop or it's um, a headset, you know that Skype is picking up the volume correctly. The only other thing is you've got automatic uh, adjust 
microphone or automatically adjust speaker settings. Skype tries to adjust it on the fly, so to stop you either deafening yourself or deafening other people. Um, you can see this is slightly moving up and down. Uh, it's Most of the time it's good. It can occasionally be a bit problematic, and if you don't like that, just untick it. And when you untick it, you can manually drag that um, those settings to what you like. Um, and another option, if you've if you've tested this, you've looked at that, and you want to go to the test center again, there is an, a menu option which will take you to that echo call test center again. And so that's basically how you check. It's to make sure that. Whatever your particular setup is, whatever microphone you've got, whatever headset you've got, that both of them, that it's pointing to them here, that your microphone is being pointed to, that the speakers, whether it's the desktop speakers or a headset, is being um, pointed to again. And just another sort of more general audio tip, if you're using like I'm using, I'm using a, a standalone microphone, it's always important to use um, the headset as well. The reason being, if you've got big desktop speakers and someone talks, your microphone picks up their conversation and feeds it back to them. And there's nothing worse than when you talk and half a second later, you're hearing yourself coming back through um, your own headset. So that's that's generally why people use um, either wraparound headsets or if they are using a big uh, standalone microphone that they still have a headset that's plugged into the microphone or plugged into the computer because you don't want to have sort of feedback coming back through your speakers. So when you've um, checked those and you're happy with those, Again, you can click that and make a free test call again to make sure that your settings are correct and that Skype's picking it up. And you can click save. And that's done. So that's, a, I mean, it's really a quick way of checking your audio settings. If this is not really a video to go through tons of troubleshooting if, if things go wrong. Again, if your headset doesn't seem to be uh, picked up, Sometimes it's a matter of checking your connections. If it's USB, checking USB. It may even be the case of actually rebooting the PC. It may have just lost um, the USB connection. So reboot your PC. Um, close any other applications that you don't need running during the Skype call so that you give Skype sort of almost full access to your computer resources. Um, and finally, if you don't um, get any luck with this video and you're really having difficulties, then the Skype forums, and I'll, I'll put the link in the um, notes under the video, the Skype forums are a very useful tool. Um, there are lots of other users out there. Some of them have had the same problems as you and they can give you assistance. But before you do that, make sure when you post onto the forum that you um, put as much detail as possible. What, what make are your headset or your microphone? What make or model is your web camera? What version of Windows you're running? I'm currently running 8.1 and what version of Skype. And if you want to know what version of Skype, just go to the help and click about Skype and you will see I'm running at the moment 6.18.80.105. So put that, those details into a post and hopefully you will get some tech support back. If you just go into the Skype forums and say, my webcam's not working, you'll probably get nobody because you've not really given anybody enough information to assist you. So I hope that's helped you with getting a bit of testing of your audio and video and making sure, again, you know, give it a test before your call. Don't wait until the call is just about to start and say, oops, I better test it. Test it, you know, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour before, just to make sure that everything is set up correctly so that you're not running around at the last minute. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, if you 
um, found this video via my YouTube channel, please give it a like. And if you would like, um, please subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks.